Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth Ryder, and today I want to quickly talk to you guys about iodine. Iodine is so critical to get from your diet because it's needed for the metabolic functions of our cells, and it's so important to your thyroid health. And many, many people are very deficient in iodine. And one of the reasons is because a lot of people have gone away from table salt, which I'll explain could be a good or a bad thing. So iodine is really necessary for thyroid function, and back in the 1920s, the government started to realize that people were having a lot of issues with their thyroid as a result of not having enough iodine. So they started putting iodine in table salt, and that's why you'll often see table salt called iodized salt, because there's iodine added into it. And that actually did really great things for a lot of people's health because it helped them get enough iodine. However, table salt, especially in the stain age, has a ton of um, preservatives and anti-caking agents adding to it, added to it so that it doesn't cake in its canister. It's also stripped of most of the trace minerals that are actually good for us. So a lot of people have gone away from table salt for those reasons, but they're not getting enough iodine in their diet as well. So the solution to that is to take a really good high quality multivitamin that has iodine in it but also to be getting sea vegetables because most of the iodine on the planet is actually in the ocean and the best sources of iodine are sea vegetables. However, if you live in the middle of the country like I do, I'm in Montana, sea vegetables are not that abundant, but that's okay because they're actually really easy to get. You might just not have heard of them before. So you know the nori rolls, if you've ever had sushi, the seaweed rolls, those are a great source of iodine. But what you can buy is what's called kelp granules. So kelp is a sea vegetable, and you can't even taste kelp granules. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is just right out of the ocean. They dry it in the sun, and then they get these little kelp granules. I think you guys can see this, these little green granules. There's a very small amount of sodium in it because it comes from the ocean, so it has a very mild um, salt flavor, but it actually doesn't taste like anything. And it's extremely, extremely high in iodine. It's very good for you. So I recommend trying to find an organic brand, an organic company that makes it. This one that I use is from a company called Maine Coast. I don't know them, this is just the one that I like. Their website is seaveg.com, so S-E-A-V-E-G.com. And kelp, of all the sea vegetables, is the highest in iodine, extremely high. So just sprinkling a little bit of this on your food a few times a week, or adding a fourth of your, uh, or to half of a teaspoon into your green smoothies a few times a week will give you a ton of iodine and really help prevent that deficiency. And again, it doesn't taste like anything. And this was only, this is organic, it was about $3. So it's, it's very, very inexpensive and very easy to add into your diet. And again, we need iodine to, for the metabolic function in our cells, but also for our thyroid health, it's so important. So again, we've gone away from table salt often because it has the anti-kicking agents and it has preservatives and it's stripped of a lot of the minerals, but then sometimes we're deficient in the iodine. And the sea salt has great trace minerals. I really recommend sea salt that is from a good quality company, but even though it's from the sea, it doesn't have enough iodine to support what your body needs. So there are some scientists out there that are saying that iodine is the next vitamin D in the sense of it's going to be the next nutrient that we really focus on understanding deficiencies and what deficiencies um, are causing in terms of disease in people. So, and that's okay, that's just how science evolves. You know, we're always focused on something, you know, for a while it was essential fatty acids and then it was vitamin D. And it doesn't mean that those things aren't important anymore. Those are still equally as important that we're focusing on, but science is always evolving and we're finding out what nutrients um, the body might be missing and, and what it's causing. So iodine is so, so important to your body. And especially, like I said, if you live in the middle of the U.S. if you're not in the, or of any country, if you're not on the coasts by the ocean, it's very easy to become very deficient in iodine because it's not as prevalent as it might be if you live on the coasts. But regardless of where you're at, make sure you're getting some sea vegetables into your diet. And if you need to do what I do, you can order the kelp granules online or you can find them at your local health food store and just sprinkle a little bit on your food every few days or even just put it into your green smoothie and you will be set to go. So if you guys like this video head on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe 
And you can find more free recipes and health tips on my blog as well at elizabethwriter.com. So have a great day or night wherever you're at, and I will talk to you guys soon.